Yo, what's up, internet? So today, what I want to do is a mural talk through. Uh, basically, talking about this mural or part of this mural that I was brought out to do. And this is in Chicago. I believe it's going to be uh, the west side of Chicago near South Kedzie Street, 808 South Kedzie Street. And basically, this is a mural that, or a portrait that I was brought out by another artist, JY Originals, on Instagram. You can find her there. She brought me out to do the portrait part of this mural commission that she received. And it was, it was a fun time. So basically, she wanted me to paint their sort of uh, Congress, U.S. Congressman, Danny K. Davis, who is the sort of representative for this area in the U.S. Congress. And basically, this building is going to be dedicated to him. So they wanted a mural that sort of portrays him and some of the work that he's done in the community. So she brought me out to do the portrait part because she didn't do a lot of portraits. And it was a nice size budget, and I got about 15000 as an artist fee to fly out from Denver to paint this, as well as uh, she would cover the paints, the flight, hotels, rentals, all that good stuff. So basically, you know, I'm able to just walk away uh, with a good 15 uh, just for a couple days' work. And this was a really fun project, mainly because, you know, painting a portrait this big, I'm able to get a lot of detail in different areas. So bringing my sprayer, my uh, Graco Magnum uh, project sprayer, and using the doodle grid method with the tape. So this was actually the last time I used the doodle grid method with the tape, mainly because it was so large and I started using chalk to make all the markings, which is much easier than using tape to sort of mark everything, uh, mainly because I wanted to have the uh, the background all the colors that I sprayed in the background show through uh, to the front in the face so that I'm able to use a ton of those colors uh, that you can kind of see as a part of the flesh tone so that's why you know I wanted to make sure I didn't use the regular doodle grid method of you know throwing uh, letters and numbers everywhere because you have to cover all that stuff up if you don't know what the doodle grid method is I'll try to have a video it's basically a method of scaling up your work but this basically was done a couple of months ago um, from when I'm sort of posting up this video now and it was actually during the Taylor Swift concert so hotels were hard to get and it was just hard to get around because traffic in general is heavy in Chicago they're doing a lot of construction but like I said the Taylor Swift concert made things a little bit even more difficult but because you know I was basically painting all day I didn't really get to uh, feel that effect other than when I left but yeah so this is this is a really cool sort of opportunity that I was able to do for an artist is basically add to her work by doing the portrait part of the mural which she doesn't do a ton of the, the realistic portrait stuff. A lot of her work is uh, very illustrative, uh, shapes, colors, other sort of really uh, bright, colorful pops, um, but she just doesn't do a lot of the realistic stuff. That's where collaborating with another artist can be really, really cool because we have our two different styles. And when those styles come together, it can sort of create this massive color pop an interesting juxtaposition between you know the hardline illustrative work and the sort of the smooth blending when it comes to the realism but it all has like a ton of color everywhere so that's like i said where collaboration can be really really cool because we have our two different respective areas that we're really good at the mural took about three to four days uh, for me to complete this piece of it. And I used about nine gallons of house paint to throw onto the background. And then about, I would say, $800 worth of the Montana Gold spray paint. So I get it from Dick Blick and had it shipped there waiting for me when I get there. And I had probably about half of the can still left over when I was done. So I used a lot of certain colors and only a little bit of other colors. Um, so that's the amount of paint that I was basically using. Everything worked out great, but one thing I do have to say that if you're traveling and doing mural projects, make sure that you have a backup plan whenever you're sort of looking for extra 
extra supplies because sometimes you can run out and I almost ran out of a certain color and they don't sell spray paint directly in Chicago so it's illegal for you to sell spray paint so you have to go outside of Chicago to actually get it so that would would have been more work um, but if you have a plan uh, beforehand on how to get extra supplies or whatever you need that's why I use a lot of house paint in my work because it's easy for me to go to Home Depot just to get extra paint but sometimes if you have a special color and a certain brand of spray paint sometimes that can be harder to get and resupply if you know you're in like an isolated area so that is something that I want to sort of warn for all artists or just make aware for all artists if you're doing a lot of traveling uh, for your gigs but yeah so this is basically what I did in Chicago hopefully you'll be able to see it I believe it's 808 South Kedzie Street in the west side of Chicago so I'll have more of these videos uh, where I just talk about exactly you know how these murals come about and I will see you guys next time peace